So getting help in neighbourhoods is a really important part of our mental health transformation across Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland. It's about creating stronger, more resilient communities. We teamed up with the Leicestershire Rutland Community Foundation to create a local fund that would enable voluntary sector organisations to deliver more activity in local areas. Round one was really successful in seeing 26 organisations applying and receiving funding towards their activity of around about £800,000 of spend. And we're going to hear from a few of those organisations in this video. I was really pleased to be actually invited to chair the first panel for the um, Getting Help in the Neighbourhood. I think it's vitally important that we try and help people who are um, suffering from mental health illness as early as possible. The funds have been going to some very good voluntary organisations, both in city and county. So Falcon Support Services provides supported accommodation and community projects across Leicestershire, so uh, working with those that are homeless or vulnerable in the community. 76% of our service users that are homeless face mental health difficulties and being able to have workers specifically supporting them around the mental health is really vital. Uh, we have one-to-one -one support sessions and group sessions that they will be delivering and we'll also be training our staff within the accommodation to raise awareness of homelessness and the issues they face. Our organisation set up in um, 2017 and we were a community group that set up a community hub for the community that's run by the residents. Um, and what we do is we provide a space for the whole community to come with any issues they've got um, and we set, we set a lot of projects so we've got projects from birth all the way up to the elderly. We're self-funded so we don't get a lot of funding um, so a lot of ours is a lot of voluntary work, additional hours, puts a lot of pressure on, on, on the people that are volunteering there and also working. What this funding's been able to do is to give us that, that additional support that we can keep running the services and we can add to the services that we're doing um, and open our hours up more. So we're now open from seven o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock in the evening. Adhar Project provides advocacy support. Uh, we run groups. We also provide counselling services, which is CBT and DBT, which is cognitive behavioural therapy and dialectical behavioural therapy. Our services have been predominantly for the city-based uh, clients, but we, through the pandemic, we realised that we had a lot more clients coming through from the county and having a look at it demographically, there wasn't enough service provision that provided the BAME community some support. So ideally with this funding, what we'd like to do is get ourselves out in the county area and start providing support for the uh, clients in the county area. By the end of the project, ideally, we'd like to have the setup in county and a, a, a lot more clientele um, from the county accessing the service. So Shawn Women's Centre has um, been around for over 35 years. We work with vulnerable women, specifically women from ethnic minority communities. It would um, really be beneficial in us supporting us to continue to support um, services like our Beat Away um, Bereavement Plus project and our Corona Comrade service. I run the Thrive project and the majority of the Thrive project consists of singing cafes. We also run tea parties but the reason I'm here today is about our singing cafes because that's what the money was given for. And we run at the moment six of them across Leicestershire and what they do is they gather people from all walks of life, all types of mental health problems, from um, the you know people who may be feeling a bit down to people who are in the last stages of dementia, because it's open to everybody. And because singing and dancing, if you're able, is very good for your health. Um, if your brain is active, you're much more likely to um, experience better physical health. So this grant is going to make an enormous difference to us because one, we can carry on doing that and reaching as many people as possible and we can also consider planting more cafes and reaching even more people.